You know, if you watch the show, I spent a lot of time over there sequencing the endless strings of news DNA and combining topical genomes to genetically engineer the day's stories into the superhuman test tube baby <laughs> that is my monologue. But every once in a while, I like to break into the local morgue and collect a few cadaver limbs, grab a, a bag of horse organs, and stitch them together to reanimate the affront to God and man that is my segment. Meanwhile... It's like penicillin to the fever of a nation. Meanwhile... The U.S. Food and Drug Administration warned the makers of Purell to stop claiming that its hand sanitizers can help guard against Ebola, norovirus, the flu, and other maladies. What? That's terrible news. I, I, I keep hand sanitizer here all the time. You mean to tell me I've been doing shots of this every night for nothing? <laughs> now, in a sternly worded letter, the FDA wrote, as of today, we are not aware of any hand sanitizers that have been tested against Ebola viruses, including Purell. And even if hand sanitizer was effective against the spread of Ebola, good luck getting those monkeys to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, hold still! <laughs> Meanwhile, it's that time of year again when the next batch of approved emojis is announced by the global ruling emoji body, the Unicode Consortium. <laughs> we are the Unicode Consortium, Mr. Bond. <laughs> next fall's new emojis will include, among others, the Italian hand gesture of pinched fingers, <laughs> smiley face with Groucho glasses, a fondue pot, and even diverse options for ninjas. <laughs> Finally, I am so tired of having to type out each word every time I need to text, Mamma Mia, Groucho Marx is a having a fun do with a panoracial ninjas. <laughs> Maron! Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> oh. Although I do have one quibble, for some reason the consortium has decided to call this emoji disguised face. <laughs> disguised face? That is Groucho Marx. Everybody knows that. It's like making an emoji of Jigsaw and calling it Puzzle Friend. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Philadelphia Flyers mascot, Gritty, has been cleared of an assault allegation. <laughs> this is truly historic. <laughs> it is the first Philadelphia sports fan to be acquitted of assault. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have a few food-related stories tonight, which brings us to our long-running, brand-new Meanwhile sub-segment, Cuisine While. <laughs> Cuisine While, KFC is now selling vegan chicken nuggets called Beyond Fried Chicken, made in conjunction with the company Beyond Meat. For a company who claims they're beyond meat, they sure spent a lot of time thinking about how to replace meat. <laughs> You guys, I'm totally over Stacy. I never even think about Stacy anymore. This is my new girlfriend, Beyond Stacy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cuisine while. <laughs> Duncan has released a Frank's Red Hot Jelly Donut. <laughs> now, hold on. What? They're only available in Miami. But you can make your own at home. All you have to do is buy a regular glazed donut, squirt some hot sauce on it, then look into the mirror to discover the monster you have become. <laughs> we'll be right back.